Hello boys and girls, welcome to Oak Tree Storytime. It's me, Leah. I'm going to read you Caterpillar Dreams, written and illustrated by Clive McFarland. Henry the Caterpillar has a dream. It's an amazing, incredible, impossible seeming dream. And to chase it, Henry will have to leave the safety of his garden and embark on the adventure of a lifetime. What will happen with Henry? Let's read. Henry has a dream. He wants to fly. His whole life, he has wanted to see the world outside his garden. Night and day, Henry dreams of going on amazing, incredible, impossible seeming adventures. But Henry is just a little caterpillar. And how is a little caterpillar ever going to see all that the world has to offer? His friends don't want Henry to leave the garden. It's safe here, says Snail. It's where your friends are, Worm tells him. Seriously, Henry, an adventure? Sounds exhausting, Slug says with a sigh. Only Toad understands. Here's the thing with dreams, Henry. If you don't chase them, they always get away. Henry is determined not to let his dreams get away. Hi, Bird. I want to go on an amazing, incredible, impossible seeming adventure. Will you take me? I'm waiting for my eggs to hatch, but I can help you get over the wall, sings Bird. Perfect, says Henry. But on the other side of the wall is a busy road. Hi, Mo. I'm going on an amazing, incredible, impossible seeming adventure. Can you help me? Asks Henry. I can't go on an adventure today. I need to finish my tunnel under the road. Mo mumbles. That's okay. I will help, says Henry. But on the other side of the road is a big, big lake. Hello, fish. I'm going on an amazing, incredible, impossible seeming adventure. Want to come along? Oh, I could never leave my lake, but I'm happy to help you across. Awesome, says Henry. Henry flew over a wall, burrowed under a road, and crossed a lake, but still, his adventure had barely even begun. Then far ahead, Henry sees something he's never seen before. A giant balloon. This is where my amazing, incredible, impossible seeming adventure will begin. Henry just knows it. If he can't get to the top of the balloon, Henry will be able to see the whole wide world. But before Henry reaches the top, something happens to him. A cocoon starts to form around him. He tries to wriggle and squiggle his way free, but he can't move. Henry is stuck. His dream is going to get away. It is dark in his cocoon and warm. Henry can't help but fall asleep. But while he sleeps, something happens that is more amazing than any dream. Henry wakes and pokes his head out of the cocoon. He is riding the balloon high in the sky. Henry knows he should be scared, but he isn't. Henry has become a butterfly. He has wings. He can fly. He can go anywhere. So where does Henry go? Home! The most amazing, incredible, impossibly possible place of all. Never stop chasing your dreams. The end. Well, do you still remember what did Toad tell Henry about dreams? Yes, if you don't chase them, they always get away, so chase your dream. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, okay? See you next time.